Now, LMU's Max Good has been coaching basketball for a long time. Starting as the JV coach at Richmond Madison High School in Kentucky in 1970. He's learned a lot of life lessons through the years. Despite his age, Good has brought energy, youthful exuberance, and lots of life catchphrases to Loyola Marymount. In addition to the Lions' first postseason appearance since 1990, let's check out how good it feels to be young at heart. In half court, we got to make hard cuts and set great legal screens. Spend about five minutes with Loyola Marymount head coach Max Good, and you'll likely walk away much wiser about coaching basketball. But if you listen closely enough, you may also be much wiser about life. He's known to pull out phrases such as, Nothing easy is worth a darn. And sayings like, As long as you compete, you never beat. And of course, there's this philosophy on coaching. There's never been a good team with bad players. I don't care. I don't care who the jockey is, a mule's not winning the Kentucky Derby. It starts with having good players, and coaches get way too much credit. Ironically, it's this attitude that makes Coach Good worthy of a great deal of credit because it comes from years of experience. He's in his 22nd season as an NCAA head coach with more than 40 total years teaching student athletes of all ages the game he so deeply loves. From the first minute I ever got involved in my love was basketball. And I've had a probably about a 60 year love affair with basketball. And basketball can be an individual game, but when it's played right and correctly, I think it's the most beautiful game there is. That beautiful game bounced him all over the United States before taking him to LMU in 2008, where he's been coaching ever since with the demanding but passionate style that he developed along the way. My first couple of years, you know, he was on me, you know, tough, really, really hard. It took a long time to figure out that he was just on me because, you know, because he loved me. He wanted he wants me to be better. He wants me to be to maximize my potential. He's kind of like a player. He wants to win just as much. You know, he gets in us, which is a good thing. He's just like always, you know, barking in a good way, you know, yelling at us to, you know, because he just wants us to be the best that we can be. Good may be tough when he needs to be, but it comes from a place of experience, something the players understand and respect. I just try to, you know, pick his mind as much as I can. And I know everything he's saying, you know, is, is right because Every situation that's happened, that happens, is going to happen during the game. He's probably been through already 10 times. But through it all, he's been able to stay just a kid at heart. And to demonstrate that, he draws on what else? One of his favorite sayings. Growing old is mandatory. Growing up is optional. Well, I've chose not to grow up. He listens to our music. He makes jokes. He bonds with us. He spends time with us. We're together every day. So he's like one of us. I love being around young people. They're great. They keep you young. Although my wife always tells me, no, there's nothing young about you. You're just terribly immature. We'll have our hands full, but we got more than enough. Through Coach Good's career, he's had the ability to move on from a bad year and follow it up with an exceptional one. That's what he's trying to do this season. The Lions won just one game in conference play last year before becoming the Cinderella story of the WCC tournament. They won three games in three nights, a run Coach Good is very proud of. We have a saying, you know, knit one, pearl two. You don't knit a sweater in two strokes and it stroked, you know, you got to do it stitch by stitch by stitch. What it did is jumpstart us into this year. Our off-season workouts went better, their attitudes were better, and we made sure that they got back in the classroom and got done what they needed to academically. In fact, Good has always made sure his players got done what they needed to academically. To him, they are first and foremost student athletes. He'll ask me about my grades, you know, when I walk into practice before he mentions anything else. He always says, no books, no ball. The many years Coach Good has spent sitting in this chair have seen a lot of highs and a lot of lows. But it's his love for coaching and more importantly, his love for his players that keep him coming back to that chair day after day and year after year. I can't imagine living without coaching. I can't even... I don't know what else I'd do. If I live to be 90, I might be coaching an elementary school in Mississippi somewhere. Some, I don't know, but I, I hope I'm coaching. I hope I tell our players if I go down, get me under the bleachers, throw some dirt on me, but win the game. Win the game. Oh, Max, we hope you continue. Keep it going as well. Max Good is a pretty good team this year. The Lions are 8-4 entering WCC play, their best record since 2004-2005 season. Anthony Ireland is on the Bob Cousy Award watch list, given to the nation's top point guard. And freshman Gabe Levin is second in the WCC in rebounds.